Item number SCP-165, Object Class Keter, Special Containment Procedures Housed in a facility at Arm Biocontainment Area 14, SCP-165 is to be treated as a contagious, pathological organism. The highest sterilization and quarantine procedures are to be followed. Microwave field generators around SCP-165 area are in place to restrict movement of its doom within its containment area. Once every nine days, SCP-165 is fed live cattle weighing at least 750 kg. Description The organic component of SCP-165 resembles that of typical parasitic mites, 750 micrometers in length with eight legs and a genetic structure similar to the house dust mite. The main difference is the hermit crab-like behavior of attaching grains of sand to its back. It is unknown what purpose the sand serves, but the massive colony of SCP-165 numbers in the hundreds of billions to possibly trillions, creating a rather large dune. The similarities between and SCP-165 are only superficial. The colony is protozoan in nature and apparently shows a collective of intelligence and awareness that is not understood. SCP-165's colony is made up of individual Akari who don't show cooperation but rather competition in the hunt for food. Like mosquitoes, they rely on chemical detection of carbon dioxide and sugars in the air to detect prey. The Akari mites roll and bound over one another towards prey, only using their legs to climb over one another. When in contact with the flesh of animals, they release a numbing chemical toxin in their bite, similar in makeup to that of a mosquito and flea bite toxins. Subjects are typically unaware that millions of mites are taking turns at grabbing mouthfuls of its flesh as they swarm around their victim. A typical swarm resembles a swirling vortex around a victim or victim's appendage. The SCP-165 colony is efficient enough in their competitive swarming that most animals' appendages can be defleshed and reduced to bone within minutes. The numbing toxin is so effective that sleeping victims may not wake up as their limbs are eaten away. The Akari mites are resistant to all but the most dangerous of pesticides. They retreat from heat and will often seek shade when available, being the most active during the night, hunting for large sleeping prey. Their vulnerability to heat is the most preferable technique for containment. Addendum Acquisition It is apparent that the U.S. government has been aware of dunes of SCP-165 for some 80 years. The area where SCP-165 was found is now a forgotten German immigrant ghost town of Fredericksburg, Arizona, in the Tool Desert near the Goldwater Air Force bombing range. The remote town of Fredericksburg was founded sometime in the late 1800s and by 1908 had become a ghost town. A passing cavalry troop reported the inhabitants had disappeared and that the buildings were empty. They attempted to stay one night in the abandoned hotel, only to have seven of their horses reduced to piles of bone. All but four of the soldiers fled in the middle of the night, saying that sand was filling the building like a flood of water. Those four were never seen again. During the late 1950s, the U.S. military attempted to exterminate SCP-165 by turning the area into a bombing range. It was successful in reducing the numbers of SCP-165, but in the late 1980s, it became apparent that a ground cleanup and extraction was needed to remove the presence of SCP-165. Mobile Task Force Epsilon-9, aka the Fire Eaters, was dispatched for the containment and extraction of SCP-165. Upon entering the town of Fredericksburg, an upturned sign was found reading, Worsitz von den Kriechenden Hungrigen Sanden which translates to Beware the Creeping Hungry Sands. The flame accelerators of Mobile Task Force Epsilon-9 proved highly successful in glassing the sand of SCP-165 and reducing its numbers to a manageable size. A living dune of nearly four metric tons of SCP-165 was contained and transported to ABC Area 14, where it is monitored and contained.